Semiconductors, or chips, are present in an infinite number of devices that make modern life possible. Cell phones, credit cards, computers, appliances, cars, tractors, airplanes, hospital equipment, and sophisticated robots across all industries. Chips come in many shapes and forms. Many are designed from the beginning with a specific application in mind. Chips are cheap, pennies to a few dollars, which is why they are in wide use and provide many benefits. But the process to produce a chip is long, complex, and expensive. The first step is to design the semiconductor based on the end use. Many companies design their chips, and this work is frequently done in the US. The next step is to manufacture the semiconductors through a process of layer deposition, hardening, and printing. Semiconductors are manufactured in special clean rooms called foundries or fabs. The precision needed to manufacture semiconductors doesn't come cheap. A fab can cost 10 to 15 billion dollars. That is why most companies outsource the manufacturing to a small number of foundries. This is a clean room where airflow is filtered and circulated several times per minute. The air in a fab is 1,000 times cleaner than in an operating room. Everyone in the facility is required to wear a clean room suit and mask because even the smallest dust particle could damage the chip and prevent it from working. After the chip is manufactured, it needs to be cut from the wafer and packaged according to the end application. 3D stacking integration of multiple chips in the same package is critical in future systems. As chips are used in new and innovative applications, massive resources need to be allocated for research and development to produce more advanced and more affordable chips. Mainstream applications use 100 to 200 nanometer sized chips, while advanced applications now work with 3 to 5 nanometers, which is 10 to 15 atoms wide. Specially trained workforce is also key to the success of fab operations. Over the next decade, over 100,000 technicians and engineers will be needed in the U.S. to keep up with the national demand of semiconductors. A massive and sustained investment in workforce development program is needed now to ensure this critical resource will keep pace with the investment in semiconductor manufacturing. Advances in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and autonomous transportation have created an insatiable worldwide demand. As an advanced economy, the U.S. is a major user of chips, yet the current U.S. share of global semiconductor fabrication is only 12%, down from 37% in 1990, according to the Semiconductor Industry Association. The U.S. must expand research and manufacturing of semiconductors and reshore this industry critical to national security. Whichever nation is at the forefront of semiconductor technology, will be the leader of the knowledge economy and the data revolution for decades to come.